So the waveform, the anatomy of a waveform, we have a pulse, which is an, the actual individual waveform. And the phase is the portion of the pulse that arises above or below the baseline. And then the interpulse interval is the period of time when current is not flowing. So that's the time between pulses. The pulse duration is the time it takes to complete one waveform. And the pulse period is con time, combined time of the pulse duration and the interpulse interval. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, electropolarity designations, you have the cathode, which is a negative electrode. This attracts the positive ions, or the cations. Then you have the anode, the positive electrode, attracts the negative ions. So some chemical effects of different polarities. In the cathode, you get edema reduction, alkaline, create an alkaline-rich environment, membrane depolarization, it breaks up clot formation, bactericidal, uh, so it kills bacteria, promotes skin redness, and promotes bone growth. The anode, it repels water while reducing swelling, produces oxygen-rich acidic environment, coagulates proteins, hyperpolarizes the membrane, and creates an analgesic effect, uh, fibroblastic mitigation, promotes wound healing, and it promotes clot formation. So electrodes, some of the materials that electrodes are made, you have the, uh, the back in the old days they had little sheet metal uh, electrodes that you would have to put a wet sponge on. Um, they also had carbon impregnated silicone rubber which is kind of like a uh, just a black sort of rubber pad and they come in little or bigger sizes and again you'd, you'd use either ultrasound gel or a wet sponge and then you have the sil silver self-adhesive which a lot of what we use is those sticky pads and silver and in order to decrease skin resistance you can moisten the electrodes with water or gel you need to remove all oils, dirt or, or octogen, things like that warm the area with a heat pack and remove dead skin and hair. Someone real hairy you might suggest they get uh, they shave that area. So the size of electrodes. The smaller the pads, the high density, so not very comfortable. The larger the pads, the greater contact with the skin, the less impedance, so the area of Easton is less specific. The appropriate size is really determined by the area of body, the desired effects of the treatment, and the size of the other pads. So some general therapeutic uses uh, we controlling for electricity include controlling acute and chronic pain, edema reduction, muscle spasm reduction, reducing joint contractures, minimizing or di uh, disuse or atrophy, facilitating tissue healing strengthening muscle and facilitating fracture healing. Uh, and some contraindications, uh, reasons you wouldn't use it, are cardiac disability, pacemakers, pregnancies, menstruation, especially over the abdomen or lumbar or pelvic region, any cancerous lesions, a site of infection, exposed metal implants, nerve sensitivity, and growth plates of adolescent children.